Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? I want to talk about one of the most misunderstood words out in the world of Christianity. The word is salvation. There's probably not a word that is more misunderstood than this one word, salvation. Let's, let's talk about what we can agree on, okay, about the word salvation. First of all, we can all agree on that salvation is a free gift. Absolutely true. We can all agree on that you can't earn salvation. We can all agree on that. We can all agree on that by grace, through faith in Jesus Christ, are we saved. In fact, we can also agree on Acts 4 and verse 12 that says this, Neither is there, any, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. In other words, it's Christ Jesus, it's, it's, listen, it's Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone when you come to the issue of salvation. There's no other name, no other religion, whatever, no other guru, whatever you want to look at, Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Now, the issue is, though, when it comes to salvation, I've met a lot of people who Look at salvation sort of like a ticket that you purchase. We'll, we'll call it the salvation ticket. And, uh, you know, that was something that was settled long ago. I purchased my salvation ticket long ago, you know, when I was a child, when I was a baby or whatever. I made my decision at age 12 or 13 or whatever, and I gave my hand to the preacher and my heart to the Lord. And since that time, you know, I got my salvation ticket, but nothing much has changed in my life. And I got a problem with that. That is no change in an individual's life. I've met all kinds of people who claim to be saved but have never been saved from themselves. You know what I mean? They've never been saved from themselves. They claim to be saved but they've never been saved from the man or woman in the mirror. Uh, they've never been saved from their vices, from their addictions, from their bad marriages, from their bad work ethics, they've never been saved from their profanity, they've never been saved from their lust, they have never been saved from themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've met a lot of people like that, haven't you? You see, there's a monster inside of all of us, and all you got to do for that monster to become full-blown is just feed it the wrong kind of stuff. And again, I've met all kinds of people who claim to be saved, but have never been saved from themselves. That monster still lives within. 